Welcome to the Writer's Life, the place where you get the sights, sounds, smells, tastes, my particular writer's life, and where you get the truth about the writer's life. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Smash the like button, please. And uh, hit that bell for notifications so that you don't miss out on one exciting video. So I'm just back from the bank. I had to buy some Turkish lira, and I got 500 Turkish lira for 35 bucks. Um, they don't want lira over there. They want dollars for obvious reasons because their um, hyperinflation has destroyed their fiat currency. Kind of sounds familiar, doesn't it? Anyway, um, war rages still in Ukraine. Um, April's going to be the decisive month. Um, we shall see what happens. Um, if... Uh, Putin's able to take Ukraine. Good, good chance he'll take Belarus, Moldova. Well, he's got Moldova already. Um, Lithuania, maybe. Uh, there's news that he, there's talk that he might take Poland. I don't believe that because that would be a whole different ball of wax. But he may go after Turkey. Um, Erdogan is sort of anti-West anyway. I could see Erdogan saying Chuck and NATO all together. So, uh, you know, in other words, Putin could take. Turkey, maybe even without a fight. We'd have to see. I don't know. That might be unrealistic because there's plenty of Turkish people who would put up a fight. You know, it's their land, right? Anyway, I'm getting ahead of my skis here. Um, another topic altogether. Uh, Kickstarter. There's an off, not an awful lot. Actually, there's just a few authors who are using Kickstarter these days to uh, um, for their independent books to work up the money. Um, to publish them, and to uh, um, promote them, all that stuff, right? Um, which is kind of a good idea um, when you think about it. If you know what you're doing, um, this guy, Dean Wesley, Wesley Smith, who's an extremely prolific science sci-fi writer and mystery writer and all, uh, and all-around good guy, um, he's been in the business for like 45 years, 50 years or something like that. He's in his 70s and like... Uh, He's got like a hundred traditionally published books, and now he just strictly has his own company, publishing company, and so he's stri strictly independent from now. It doesn't even have an agent, and he uses Kickstarter a lot and very successfully. Um, this guy Brandon Sanderson, who I never heard of before because I don't read sci-fi and fiction, he writes like fantasy. Um, he just scored like thirty th thirty million. 30,000, 30 million dollars on a Kickstarter campaign, which is just unbelievable. So. Just shows you what could happen um you know and i've had various friends who have done kickstarter campaigns for like five grand here six grand there three grand there whatever i've actually started a kickstarter campaign once but i never went through with it because uh um it's one of those things where i just you know probably if i put the time and effort into it i could make it a success but uh um you know i'm focused on other things you know um right now um, the problem with Kickstarter is like once you commit to giving levels of gifts to people who donate their two dollars or five dollars or twenty dollars or thirty dollars, you got to continually feed the beast. So uh, I'm already up to here with tasks, writing tasks, you know, both creative and you know business. So uh, I'm gonna, I probably, I may try it, and if I do, I'll be very transparent about it, and I'll let you guys know. In any case, that's it for today. Uh, beautiful Monday out there. Spring is here. And i uh, going to keep a close eye on the Black Sea region and what's happening over there. All right. I hope everybody's good. And ciao, ciao for now.